book of Daniel, chapter 10, to read from verse 12 to verse 14. Our lady who come from the book of Daniel, chapter 10, we will read from verse 12, Daniel 10, 12. Amen. Let's hear the reading of God's word. And then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel. Oh, can see it there. Let me go and okay. Let me read my Bible. <laughs> Daniel 10, verse 12. And then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel. For, for, uh, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard and have come because of your words. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you. We want to thank you because of your word. Your word is a life. Your word carries prosperity to transform our life. And Father God, I pray that you will open our eyes, our ears, that we will be able to hear and to understand, Lord, what you have in store for us. We thank you, Father, because you will use me as your vessel to the glory and honor of your name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May we be seated in the presence of the Lord. Um, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The critics have like it, eh? Then you shake me, yeah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I feel much humbled to be at Spring Falls Church, at this altar. My first time to be in this altar. And Steve has been my good friend and wife Rachel for many years. Almost 38 years we have been in the ministry, preaching together with Steve before he came here 24, 25 years ago and I've been praying for him many years we have walked a long journey with Steve together with the children and wife and I thank God because her mother yeah, yeah he had an agreement with our mother before she passed on and she called Steve, because Steve respect Bishop as your older brother. <laughs> and Steve has kept that until today. Praise the Lord. So, thank you, Shiro. You started with a high note, and then uh, she came down, and then I'll be just lower than that <laughs> and I am a man of few words my name is Bishop Jididi Samuel um, I am the presiding bishop of stewards the revival Pentecostal church the church is in Kenya we are along the ring road Pioneer Estate and we are just next to the total petrol station and at the same time I am um, the chairman of an Abrera body in Kenya, we have 20 or 22 Abrera body and the chairman of the Federation of Evangelical and Indigenous Christian Churches of Kenya. Uh, together with me, my wife, Susan, let's stand and wait the ground, the church, amen. And also, I have my two daughters who are here, and is one of them. Yes, the other one, Miriam. Yes. <laughs> and also, where is the uh, Kate? Wow, you're there. Yes, Kate is also my daughter. I have many daughters here and sons, and I thank God for them. So, uh, uh, Springfield Church is not new to me. This vision was born inside my house. We were, we were buried uh, Rachel's father, and our late mom called me 
and mother to see. He called me and he said, Bishop, you are my son. And I want you to be praying for my son, uh, Steve, because I want Steve, because Steve, we were ordained together, I think, 38 years in the ministry. When he came here in the UK, I don't know which church he was going, <laughs> but he was still, he is an ordained minister of the gospel. And that's when we sat together in my house and we said, Steve, just go to the UK there and open an altar. And I thank God for standing here in this pulpit to speak the word of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am a man of few words and I just want to go direct to the word of God. Um, in the book of Daniel, 10, 12, and 14, because we have time to worship, we have time to praise God. Thank you, our sister, I can see you there. Uh, we have time to praise, and I pitied you, my brother, when uh, Chiro was singing here, because if I sing the way she does, uh, I think one month or so, you can have a problem because no one is king, you are not waking up. Because she dance and dance and dance. It's a gift. Yeah. It is a gift. God bless your gift. Thank you. So, I want to go direct to my message. And my message today is I heard you the first time. That is my message. Amen. 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 I heard you. The first time. You may have spoken to someone and you just feel that this person whom you have been talking to him, maybe there is what we call a communication breakdown. And you repeat several times talking to that person, your brother, maybe your friend, and then maybe your friend whom you are speaking to, then you see you keep on repeating, repeating yourself, and there is what we call a communication breakdown. And you feel this person is ignoring you. I don't, I don't know whether you have been in that position. And then sometimes you're giving a benefit of doubt. And then suddenly, he turns to you and says, I heard you. Amen. 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 And you ask yourself, why this person has been ignoring me the first and the second time I've been talking, speaking to this person and he has been ignoring me. What is the reason behind this? Maybe there was distraction and maybe the environment was not good. And then in your heart you feel that this person has been, oh, he, has, he is ignoring you. And then he can give you, he may be, he, he give you an explanation and says that just waited to process what to answer you and that's why I've been quiet. For whatever reason it is, whether it is valid or not, the reason he has been silent to you. May I tell you that that time of waiting may be disturbing, that time may be agitating, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for response, but there is no response. Praise the name of the Lord. And so maybe you feel irritated when you talk to somebody who is not answering you. So. Let me admit that personally, I'm always impatient. I'm not patient anyway. I'm not. What I wait patiently is everlasting life. <laughs> we are a I'm not patient anyway. Even when I when I was sitting here. 
when our sisters were singing and singing and singing, I was asking myself, when will my time come? <laughs> We are in patient society. And even when we are praying, we wait for our answers just yesterday. When we pray, we pray, we pray, we are always optimistic that the answer will come immediately when we pray. We are in patient society. And I think God wants us to understand something. That when we are impatient, it robs us the best thing in our life. Wakati ababa hatutaki kufumiria, there are things that we lose in our life. Kuna vitu tunapoteza katika maisha yetu. And maybe many bad decisions they are made because we are not patient. We are not. Maybe you can purchase something. Maybe a car or a land. And when you do that you regret what you did. Maybe you are married, you are not patient to wait for the Lord, and now you are crying. The Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord, he shall be new. Yes, praise. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, when we wait, the capacity of receiving is enlarged. When we wait, our capacity of receiving is enlarged. And while we wait, our desire is also tested. Imani yetu pia inajaribiwa. Jabu lingine, wakati ambapo tunagojea, waiting, it is a season of developing. It is a season of developing or to mature. Amen. A baby is conceived. When a baby is conceived in a mother's womb, there is a season of developing. Na uki kitoa unyo mtoto kwa haraka, without waiting for that child to develop in a mother's womb, then you will end up getting a premature child because you don't have time to wait. You want that child to come yeah. even before nine months. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So you are cutting that time short for that child to premature and when you cut that yeah, when you cut that season sh short then you will end up getting a premature or underdeveloped child. So, when we talk of delay, delay is not denied. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Delay is not denied. It may delay your answer may delay coming, but God himself will not deny you what you have been waiting for. Amen. 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 So, delay sometimes it can be divine, or, or also it can be demonic. Yes. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. So, the devil will at times delay your prayer and we were not given the spirit of fear or doubt because we are children of God. We are the children of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so, where the devil has failed us 
In many cases, many men and women of God, many men and women of God, because of not waiting for the promises of the Lord. In Exodus 32 and verse 1, the Bible says, when Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, they called Aaron. Aaron, you know, Aaron was brother to Moses. And the Bible says, they made a golden cup. And they said, this is your God who brought you out from Egypt. Because Moses delayed coming down from the mountain of Sinai. And so when Moses delayed, so the children of Israel, they went off the lane. They made a golden calf. And they said, this is our God. And when Abraham again in the Bible, when the promised son delayed, you know what happened? Abraham and Sarah. They left the God path and then um, they, start, um, they start acting in fresh. And up to today, you know what happened. They called this guy we call Ishmael. Amen. 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 And so, grief still, even today. But God of mercy. Because God is a God of mercy. Abraham and Sarah, the Bible says, after 25 years after waiting, they got a promise child. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. After waiting for 25 years. The son delayed, but God did not deny them. Hallelujah. Amen. Joseph he received his dream. Fifteen years. He was old, fifteen years old. And the Bible say, says he was delayed for fifteen years, but he was not denied. God promised the children of Israel, Aliwahidi, the land flowing with milk and honey. And the Bible says they delayed for 40 years. Actually, they were, God, God told Ab, uh, uh, Abraham that your descendant will stay in Egypt for 400 years, but they stayed there 430 years. So Moses, he went to the park of the desert, that is where he met God, at the park of the desert. So 430 years, they delayed, but they were not denied to go to the promised land. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so you may have received a promise, a prophetic word from your pastor, from your leverage team, and maybe you see you've been praying and it has delayed. May I assure you that it has delayed, but God will not deny you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You may have been battling with sickness. You've been praying, praying and praying. And maybe you've been giving your tithes and offering to the church. It has taken too long to receive your healing. May I tell you it has delayed. But God will not deny you healing. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And it could be wrong choices, long decision, or maybe the long path that you, you follow. Or it could be God working for something good for your life. Or maybe it is devil himself who is trying to strip your faith, to discourage you. To a point of giving up, never give up. Never give up. Your promises will not be denied by our God. 
You may have been praying, 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 and you may feel heaven. They have heaven bingo imefunga kwa sababu yako. Unaona kama imefunga. Bingo haija funga. Bingo haija kufa. The devil sometimes will come to you telling you you're wasting your time. Why are you praying? You're wasting your time. May I tell you, you're never wasting your time when you pray. Yes. You're not wasting your time when you're praying. Praise the name of the Lord. Or maybe knocking the door, knocking the door, no one is opening the door. Oh, many years. Waiting and waiting. Delay is not denied. So, God told me to tell you He heard your prayer the first time. The first time you prayed, God heard your prayer. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So the first time you bowed your knees in prayer, God had when you opened your mouth to pray, the first time God heard your prayer. Just like Daniel in our text. There was satanic resistance. If you have your Bible, you can see that there, Daniel prayed for 21 days. And you only prayed 22 minutes or 2 minutes. 5 minutes. But not Daniel prayed 21 days. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, what was happening here? The devil was jamming the runner. He was resisting. So may I say to you, brothers and sisters, the deliverance is on your way. The first time you knelt down and prayed, God heard your prayer. Give me the two mountain women and our kiddo. Hallelujah. Mr. Satan himself. Unaona kama bingu imefunga. Lakini nimekuja kukutangazia ya kwamba your deliverance is on the way and the first day like Daniel alipiga magoti akaomba Mungu na Mungu akasema Daniel the first day you knelt down and prayed I had your prayers. Amen. Never give up. Amen. Never give up. Amen. God had your prayers. So, never give up. Or never switch off. The switch off your faith. Look at the switch off your faith. Yahweh, thank you. Hallelujah. So, do not be discouraged, brothers and sisters. Do not be disappointed. Because God had your prayers the first day you knelt down and prayed. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, uh, the King James Version says, I have come because of your word. Since you came here this morning. What have you been telling your God? What have you been telling your God? Maneno ambayo imetoka katika in your mouth. The Bible says, I have come because of your words. Which words? Which words? Your words. I heard you the first time you prayed. So don't quit praying. Don't quit praying. Don't quit praying. Never give up. Praise the name of the Lord. So I heard you the first time you pray, don't quit pray. So Daniel prayed diligently for 21 days. 21 days. 21 days. Daniel prayed. And God said, Daniel, the first time you went down on your knees and you prayed, I had it. I had it. So never give up, friend. Never give up, never give up. And if you want to know well, just 
our brother Lazarus. Four days, Jesus delayed for four days. So if you want to know, just go and ask Lazarus if you can get him. <laughs> Don't know where you get him. So four days. So God is on his right time. Maybe it is today, maybe it is tomorrow, maybe it is after 25 years waiting. Abraham waited for 25 years. The children of Israel waited for 430 years. But eventually the Lord came. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So if you make a happen. Just know that when you open your mouth and kneel down and call God, God had you. Amen. God heard your prayer and he will not deny you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He will not deny you what you have been praying, what you have been trusting God for. Maybe you have been trusting God for your miracle. Maybe you have been trusting God to get married or to get a good job. You have been praying and praying and praying and praying. Maybe you have uh, uh, a steward church, this is uh, 2023, we are saying this is the year of uh, great expansion. The year of great expansion. That the Lord will expand us to the right and to the left. Mm. And our descendants will inherit the nation. Amen. It is my prayer. Mm. And it is my prayer to you that even your descendants, your children, will inherit the nation. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Just think of Daniel. Daniel, he went to Babylon. 70 years, and Daniel said, I understood by the book what the Lord said. After 70 years, and you know they want their slaves. But actually they spent, it was not 70 years, it was less than that. It was maybe 69 or 67 years, it was not 70. Because Daniel understood what God said through prophet Jeremiah that after 70 years they will return back. Esther, Daniel, they were children, they, but, but that, uh, those days there were, there were no WhatsApp or Twitter to tweet to their parents to say where they were. They were in Babylon, but you see Daniel and, um, and the other uh, brothers who were there, you know where they were. They, they, they were great men there in the land. They inherited the nation. Esther was a slave. He was the wife of a king. She became the wife of a king. They inherited the nation. So even our descendants, they will inherit the nation. It has been our prayer. And maybe many years we have been praying. Delay, delay, delay. But God is not as I just want to hear. Did you? Amen. You know, you've seen that your family. Huh? Mm -hmm. See what will happen. Now we are four. In the UK. Imagine. Amen. March, we are four. Me, my wife, and my <laughs> and my two children. We are in UK. Amen. Amen. Maybe it has been my, my prayer or my mother or my dad's prayer. I don't know. But now we are here. Standing here in this world, preaching the word of God. Delay is not denied. The first day you knelt down and called God, God heard your prayers. Amen. 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 Don't lose hope. Don't quit praying. Don't, don't quit trusting the Lord. Amen. Keep on praying, 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 praying until something happens. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amen.